Good morning, everyone, on this uh, early Monday morning. Off and at another work week, getting closer to Christmas as well, as uh, hopefully you're off to a good start. Lots of clouds out there, some areas of fog, but uh, not as wet, and we're going to dry out a little bit over the next couple of days, so great news there. Last week, a very wet week, and uh, temperatures remained well above normal. That's all going to change over the next four, five, six days, but we do have more, one more big rain event to get ready for, and that's going to be on Wednesday into Wednesday night, but until then... I think we may see a little sunshine this afternoon, so I'm sure hopefully that'll bring a little smile to all of your faces. But here we go. Here's a look at what you expect as we head into uh, the next several hours. Notice still some morning clouds out there trying to erode a little bit. There you see it by 4.35 o'clock. So later on, don't be surprised if the skies brighten up and you see a little bit of sunshine tonight. Still some clouds will roll back in. Overnight lows will be back into the lower, maybe middle 40s, but still looking dry through Tuesday with lots of clouds, high temperatures staying into the 50s. Notice though, out to the west, there you see a line of showers and thunderstorms that will be uh, um, still toward Memphis and back into the middle Mississippi Valley uh, Tuesday night. Wednesday, though, they quickly head on in. So by mid-morning Wednesday, we'll see some showers and thunder showers. And this is going to be a big soaking rain. In fact, looks like there's going to be another little, what they call a ripple of low pressure develop over parts of Mississippi. That's going to hang the front up a little bit and allow more rain to move on in as we head into uh, let's say Wednesday evening into Wednesday night. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see, oh, maybe a two or three inches with that uh, rainfall episode there in some areas. So uh, something to uh, kind of keep our eyes on. As we take a look at the uh, next several days, though, after that big front pushes on through, then the pattern change that we've been talking about for the last two or three weeks. There you see that colder air with uh, that freezing line dropping to our south. And by the end of the period, it gets quite cold, perhaps for uh, Christmas week. So that's something that we'll continue to watch. Uh, notice, though, a couple of little surges of colder air. And then behind that, uh, by Wednesday before uh, Christmas, it looks like we may see uh, temperatures in some areas perhaps drop into the teens. But that's just one model run. But it does give you a trend that is going to be turning much colder. Once again, there's the front with a big soaking rain and even some thunderstorms expected with that Wednesday into Wednesday night. And then that tracks on to the east. There you see the plunge of colder air. So keep the uh, coats and jackets handy for a while as we may see a couple of reinforcing surges of uh, cooler air and colder air with some fronts but I just don't think the pattern is going to be as wet as it's going to be a lot colder as uh, temperatures normally should be around 54 and 36 and uh, we haven't really been too close to that lately. Now, the highs the next couple of days are going to be close to normal, but overnight lows will not be into the 30s because of the cloud cover. That will all change, though, for the second half of this week. So a pattern change ahead, but before that, one more big rain. But today, it will be dry and maybe a little sunshine, so get out and enjoy that. Take care, be safe, have a great rest of your Monday, and uh, we'll talk to you the same.